You will not believe who I am standing here with. The one, the only, Rob Paulson, the voice of everything good on TV. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Rob, it's so nice to meet you. Um, Hello, Brad. <laughs> see? Oh, my God, he's peeing himself. And I know, I can't see it, but you probably shouldn't. Do people recognize you from the cons or just from the characters or the voices? Actually, a little both now, Brad. Um, as a result of nice people like you and John and folks who are uh, interviewing me at these events and social media, uh, I get recognized a lot more um, just going to the grocery store. I think part of it is also that I've been really fortunate to work on shows that have had um, arguably iconic status. Did you develop the Pinky character or did they present it to you and you just ran with it? Well, I auditioned for it um, along with other actors. I came up with the, uh, for some reason, Pinky's got a British accent, which is a little bit worn out at the moment. Uh, but that was my choice. But Mr. Spielberg and Tom Ruger and Gene McCurdy, the folks who created all that stuff, uh, determined that Maurice LaMarche doing his spot on impression of Orson Welles uh, worked really well with Pinky, sort of stupid, nor pointy god kind of vibe, and so uh, they were right, man. It's been a remarkable ride. What's new coming around the horizon for you? There is yet another uh, iteration of Ninja Turtles coming the fall of this year, a 2D version, more like the tradi traditional, like the original, and I'm directing it. I guess the folks at Viacom and Nickelodeon thought, well, you know, how many idiots we know that have been involved with Ninja Turtles for 30 years? Well, one, Rob Paulson. So they were very sweet to give me a shot at it, and having done 35 years on the other side of the glass as a vocal hired gun, so to speak, the opportunity to direct these wonderful actors has been way more fun than I ever thought. There, uh, Mr. Spielberg has decided that he wants to do 26 more half hours of Animaniacs and Pinky in the Brain for Hulu in the fall of 2020. I have a podcast called Talkin' Tunes, which is available both as an audio version on iTunes and a video version which is hysterical because when you see John DiMaggio or Billy West or you know Tara Strong or any of these people doing their characters in in person, it's mind blowing. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, this has been the Bradcast, Comic Experience Sci Fi reporting from the Motor City Comic Con. And if you had half as much fun as I did just standing here, you had twice as much fun as you deserve. We'll see you next time.